Guys, today short ribs were on sale and in Korea, whenever good meat is on sale, that becomes priority. So we're gonna take a quick hiatus on the anchovy kelp broth based soups and I'm gonna show you kalbitang today. That means short beef rib soup. <laughs> if you've been to Korea before, you know how good the soup is. But today, I'll show you how to make it at home. Let's start. And here's one kilogram of beef short ribs. Now, these are some of the best meat to actually grill on a barbecue. If you feel like barbecuing it instead, good for you. But today I'm gonna to show you how to put it in a stew. And if you take a look, the bone or the rib bone is here on the bottom and it's attached to the meat. You see that bone here? So this is also known as the English cut. And in Korean markets, they like to cut this bone into three parts. And if you look at the meat, there's gonna be some places where there's just a lot of fat. You can cut off some parts of those. And of course there's fat that's like marbled into the meat. You don't have to worry about this, but uh, you could knock off some of the fat on the top here. All right guys, so now I trimmed off some of the fat. Again, not everything. Don't be too scared of the fat. It adds a lot of flavor to the broth. And then we're gonna dunk each piece in cold water. But why? Well, we wanna get a lot of the gunk out of the bones. And normally it's good to let it sit for five to six hours, but who's got time for that? Let's keep it for two hours. All right guys, it's been two hours. You can obviously see a lot of the blood has come out from the meat. Let's empty this out, give another wash under cold water. So we'll put these guys in. And before we start the broth, we're gonna give these bad boys one hard boil. And this is gonna get any of the remaining bone chunks or any of the nasty stuff out of the meat. Cover it with enough water to keep it submerged. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil. And once it's boiling, we're gonna reduce the heat to a medium low. Let it boil for five minutes. Now, Ra, five minutes has passed. We're gonna drain it, and then give it another rinse underwater. These short ribs now are not gonna release too much gunk from the bones. They still have a lot of uh, flavor, and they're gonna flavor the broth. And then we just need a few more vegetables to flavor the broth. First one is Korean radish. L as in Larry, cut that much off. Cut off the tip as well. And then we're gonna just need about half of this. Let's use a speed peeler on this, take off the skin. Then we just need half an onion. Spring onion, forearm piece, and then green stalk, same size, so the two won't get lonely. 10 cloves of garlic. And the next thing, you open all your cupboards and you try to find the biggest pot that you have. I call her Big Mama. Put all of our beef pieces in, put all the other vegetables in, as well as the garlic pieces. All right, a third cup of mirin or any white cooking wine. If you can't have alcohol, just skip this step. And once it comes up to boil like this, Let's reduce the heat to a medium low. Gently simmer for one hour. Let's put the lid back on, but we're gonna check back in in about 30 minutes to pull out the radish. So set a timer for 30 minutes and start. And this soup isn't complete without some Korean potato starch noodles. It's also known as glass noodles, but they're used in chop chai. Get a large bowl. Fill it with cold water. Guys, in a one person portion, oh, this looks like my hair in the morning. Should be about a quarter size. This small package was a three person portion, but I'm gonna just use all of it. If finding these noodles are hard, just use any noodles. And we're gonna just let these soak until the soup finishes. Now, the other cool thing is an egg topping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate the egg and white. I like doing this because it just feels cold and nice. Separate the yolk, oh yeah. Oh no! Whip up the whites a little bit, then move on to the kerans. What did the bus driver say to the egg? Get on! Guys, put your frying pan on a low heat. A little bit of oil in. We'll just put that in. And then just flip it. And then we'll repeat for the egg whites. All right, this came out much better. When you're in a rush versus when you're patient. Cut this into thin slices like this. And we'll use this at the end. Let's open it up. I wanna fish out our uh, Korean radish here. And we're gonna let the rest cook for 30 more minutes. It's very soft. It's already released all of its waters. And I'm gonna cut this into thirds. Cut it down, very nice. Then we're gonna just cut this into small pieces. And then give it a taste. So good. Let's lift it up. Ooh, 
we're going to fish out all of the vegetables. Guys, next thing, there's a little bit of oil on the top. You can try your best to get some of it off. Here we're going to add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use soup soy sauce or regular. That's one. And the final, good. One tablespoon of minced garlic. And mix that around. Then we're going to put our Korean radish back in. Then two teaspoons of salt. There's the second one. And then we're going to let it simmer for 10 more minutes. This is the final boil. All right, and at this phase, I want you to take a sip. Wow, it's so good. I want a tad bit more salt, so a couple more shakes. And I want some black pepper in here as well. So now take a sip. Wow, so good. And then guys, remember our noodles that we have here. Let's drain this. And I'm kind of tempted to throw the whole thing into the pot, but then the noodles will get way too soft. So if you're not gonna eat the entire soup in one serving, so instead let's build a one person portion. Let's put about a quarter size of noodles on the bottom here. I would say three bones per person and just look at that meat. Oh my gosh. Get some broth in here as well. Over the top. Guys, we're gonna put some of our eggs in one corner here. A Little bit of our whites as well. On top with some spring onions. And guys, look at that. That is beautiful. We got some rice here. Katie's been working on a kaktugi, which is Korean radish kimchi. And we'll use that as a side. And guys, that's it. That's how the cookie crumbles. Let's take a close up look. First thing that's most important is light but refreshing broth. Taste it. Then you have the Korean chopchen noodles here. And then taste some of that Korean radish. Then you got a big short rib. Put it over the rice a little bit. Mmm. 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 And in English, when you taste something that's so good, you say, Mmm. That's delicious. In Korean, we say, Mmm. That part's the same. Mashi soyo, meaning that's damn good. Practice with me. Mashi soyo. <laughs> <laughs>